We're in St. Charles, about 23 miles from the Gateway Arch. We're at the historic old post office. We're at the Legends and Lanterns Festival and we'll be seeing characters like this. The owl, the druid priest of Cardanic, along the shores of Inishorn in the ancient Emerald Isle of Ireland. And today I give voice to the ancient Celtic festival of Samhain. The festivities you know of as All Hallows Eve. Halloween! It is at this time of the year that the, the veil between the living and the nether regions rises up. Here in St. Charles, the legends of Halloween have gathered together, unleashing the power of their magic lanterns, enabling them to cross through time and space into the mortal realm! <laughs> hey there, old timer! We don't want no infestation of supernatural vermin around these parts! Oh, so, and we will band together to oppose the release of the monsters of Main Street! Yeah! Yeah! You blithering hay bailers! Yeah. With the power of the four elements, my druid students, Harper and Eric, give them a round of applause, everyone! Raise up the magic portal! Wave our magic coins in the air! And now we bring the four elements of the universe come forth ghouling stones <laughs> are you ready to rock St. Charles yeah. we the ghouling stones bring forth all the way from the isles of ancient Greece a crystal the element of the earth ah, and, and from the mighty oceans over the seas come Captain Anne Bonnie and Captain James Hook, welcome aboard, mateys! <laughs> At last, ye slandering bilge rats! We have traveled the treacherous waters of the Caribbean, tossing our ships back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. <laughs> Therefore, we represent the element of water. <laughs> and flying in from the east on a long journey comes Baba Yaga. In honor of the witches who take to the night sky in flight, I give you the element of air. <laughs> and last but not least, through fiery fury, my cousins, the weird sisters! Double, double, toil and trouble, fire burn, and cold and bubble!
Behold, the torch that has burned a thousand witches. You best watch your words there, dearie. Yeah. You learn that, you old hag. Because the portals are now open. Prepare yourselves for a spirited journey through Halloween history. Welcome, foolish mortals, to legends and lanterns. <laughs> Good everyone. Yeah, yeah. We are storytellers. Yeah, I am Wilhelm. My brother Jacob, Mr. Edgar Allan Poe. Now we're going to tell a story about an ancient Egyptian. Yeah, yeah. Maybe you've heard of this man. Now when he was a young man, he never thought he'd see people stand in line to see the boy king. How to get so funky? <laughs> to do the monkey? Born in Arizona, moved to Babylon the king. <laughs> now if I'd known, they'd line up just to see him. I'd taken all my money and bought me a museum. Buried with a monkey. He's my favorite honky. Born in Arizona. There's a Bob and Law. The ladies love his style. Rock and Mud. He ate a crocodile. He gave his life for tourism. Now when I die, now don't think I'm a nut. Don't want no fancy funeral, just one like old King Tut. He could have won a Grammy, buried in his jammy. Born in Arizona, he was a Babylonian. He was born in Arizona, got a condo made of stone. <laughs> I want to take a look at uh, just a few of these shops here down at this end of Main Street. St. Charles was the first state capital in Missouri while they were building Jefferson City. That was from 1821 to 1826. I'm These shops are still fascinating to me, this whole street.
Hi. Have you been here before? No. No. Do you know what the Day of the Dead means, or have you heard of it? Uh, I think so. You have an idea? You wanna come? With it? <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, you come. Take a class at the Dia de los Muertos. Oh, okay. Carlos del Grande. A oh. fairly new addition to the festival. Okay. All right, but there we have an ofrenda or the altar that shows how we celebrate Day of the Dead in Mexico and other Latin countries. As you see, there's a special activity we have here, but the meaning of this celebration is to honor those who have passed. We celebrate on November the 1st and 2nd, right after Halloween. So what we do is we put together pictures of our loved ones that have passed, pets included because they are part of our families, and we decorate the space with flowers, candles, sugar skulls made out of candy. You can actually eat them, not this one. Yeah. And we also prepare <laughs> uh, traditional dishes like this pan de muerto, which is a bone-shaped type of bread filled with little pieces of fruit. Oh. We gather with our families, friends, and we exchange stories or memories that we have with our loved ones as a way to have them closer to our hearts. So it's a time not to be sad, but to remember. Isn't that nice? That's the Missouri River. It's the longest river in the United States. The Katy Trail runs along where the Missouri, Kansas, Texas Railroad did, and mostly along the Missouri River here. It's the longest rail trail, about 240 miles. Okay, back on Main Street. Or it smells good right here. It smells real good right here. Now these are all part of the Scarecrow contest. You can vote in the straw poll. Ah. You can vote for your favorite one.
celebrating Halloween, right? Celebrate, you like Halloween? Well, we called it Samhain when I was around. It's a hot, huh? We call it Samhain, and Samhain is a special holiday for us because it's the time of the year when the harvest, the year is about to end. You know how all the plants were growing all summer long and all the farmers were gathering all the plants, getting them all ready for the winter to the plants. And you know, now the, the trees are starting to change colors now because the winter is about to begin. So we're ending the year and starting a new year. So this is our new year festival. And we're going to have a big party. Do you like to party? Do you like party? Yeah, you so we, would, we would have a big party in the village and we would put a big bonfire on October the 30th. Well, we did October 29th, 30th, and 31st. We did three nights. And we would celebrate. There's only one thing, though. This is the time when. What are some scary you things you can do? All these restaurants are packed for these events. I'll take your word. Why? Because it's I been deposed. Ah. Good old Edward. <laughs> there go the angry villagers. Okay. We haven't made it down that way. Okay. Restaurant packed. Yes, I would love to put a down payment or investment of sort, but I'm uh, not very liquid at the moment. 
Restaurant packed. There's a Daniel Boone statue. He wasn't be friends. What a great name. I didn't pick it. I love this job. Are we going to go right in here? And burgundy. You must have a good sense of smell and be able to tell a rose by any name it shall call itself. So, for demonstration of these skills, we give you all the title of official treasure hunter of Legends and Lanterns. And for the treasure hunters, well done! You can wear them a tried show off to your enemy. Harper. Hello, sir. Oh, hi. Are you enjoying this day? Very much, Even yeah. saw most of the characters, not all, but most. That gets you in the Halloween spirit. Very, very fun event. I don't know if I saw the gingerbread witch. Thanks for joining me. That's the county executive building for St. Charles. <laughs> 